Hey there, I'm Robin, and today we are taking a look under the hood at a simple and cost-effective way of inspecting the AC system in your car. Pressure diagnostics. Now, in order for an AC system to function flawlessly, there needs to be proper refrigerant operating pressure. Testing the pressure is a great way to troubleshoot the AC system. You can spot malfunctions in the system by simply seeing values of the pressure measured on either the high side or the low side. Having either LP or HP readings outside of its preferred range can mean there are a lot of potential problems that need to be found and taken care of. Typically, the most common result of various AC system malfunctions is there not being enough cool air delivered into the vehicle's cabin. The pressure diagnostic method is easy, reliable, and cost-effective. Only basic tools are needed, such as pressure gauges, and it works for most vehicles running on R134A gas. So let's go take a look at the tools you'll need. The tools you'll need include a pressure gauge manifold and a set of hoses, or a service station that includes these and a refrigerant dedicated chart showing the operation pressure valves, measurements, and indications in a given temperature. You ready? Let's go take a look under the hood. To start, make sure the LP and HP gauges are correctly connected to the system, respectively to the low and high pressure side service ports. By means of the AC service unit, vacuum the hoses set to purge them from the atmospheric air. Before starting the test, you have to make sure the system is in operational condition. And this requires the correct level of refrigerant charge with at least 1.5 bar slash 25 PSI of static pressure to run the compressor. To determine that, static pressures of the system should be read before starting the engine. The LP and HP pressure gauge indication should be close to equal on both sides. Remember, if the static pressure is too low, that means a low system charge and that there might be a leak that must be found and repaired. The actual static pressure will depend on the ambient temperature. To determine if it's correct, refer to the static pressures table applicable for R134A. After the static pressure test is passed, operational pressures can be measured. For reliable outcomes, the vehicle must achieve its normal operating characteristics. The engine must get started and idled. The AC system must be set to produce maximum cold air and around 70% of the blow power must be set inside the cabin. Wait until the engine gets to its proper operating temperature of 80 to 90 degrees Celsius or 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can determine possible failures by reading the operating pressures. Read the gauges indications and refer to a table with R134A operating pressure values for HP and LP. And please remember, the values will vary depending on the temperature in the room and the compressor type, like if it's a fixed or variable displacement. What we see here is a correct reading of the pressures. The LP side is between 1 to 3 bars, or 10 to 50 PSI, and the HP side is between 10 to 25 bars, or 140 to 350 PSI. And the static pressure reading before the test was also all right. This means the system operates well. But what else could be the case? Both the LP and the HP side will indicate pressure readings that are too high, much higher than what is in the normal range for both sides. A reading like this could typically mean that there is a system overcharge caused by too much refrigerant or too much additives dosed, such as UV dye, that there is improper compressor control, such as ECV or MCV valve malfunction. It can also indicate some flow restrictions on the HP side, either by the receiver dryer or within the condenser caused by bent tubes or impurities. Or it could mean that there is improper operation of the condenser, including surface damages or excessive soiling, disabling the unit function. You will need to determine and eliminate the root causes, and this will bring the pressure to the proper levels again. As you can see, this troubleshooting method is easy and effective. To learn more about pressure scenarios and the potential issues related to improper ranges, I recommend you get one of these posters issued by Nissan's. The poster contains a complete overview of possible scenarios and explains how to use the method. You can get a free copy sent to your garage or a digital version from their website that you can use on your PC or your phone. Just visit nissans.com climate. I'm Robin, and thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood.